A stadium alive with atmosphere and two teams ready to commit themselves to excellence for 90 captivating minutes. We're privileged to be here on an occasion that resonates with football fans everywhere. And if you think you know who's going to win, you are courageous indeed. Live on EA TV. Hello everyone and welcome. Our footballing travels have taken us to the Midlands. We're at Villa Park. I'm Derek Ray and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Aston Villa and they take on Arsenal. Well, thanks Derek as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Well, the attack carried an initial threat but fizzled out. Here's how the lineup looks for Aston Villa. Luca Digne plays with Matty Cash in the fullback positions. Douglas Luiz plays alongside John. And there it is! The opening goal! The ideal way to start! Well, just look at his strength here. He holds off the challenge, he keeps his balance and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Rogers. Well, that's really strong play to keep hold of the ball. And making sure there was no danger in the end. Trossard. Tomiyasu. It's with Gabriel. Declan Rice. It's with Erdogan. Havertz. Thomas Partey and Arsenal now find themselves in potentially a dangerous position. Havertz, he must finish! Managed to get it out of there. Possession one. Diaby. Might be a chance here. Oh, that is an outrageously good stop. Well, great reflexes from the keeper. He did brilliantly there. And deciding to go short with this one. McGinn took a really smart piece of defending to stop them. White. Good example of pressing without the ball. McGinn. Arsenal have it back. Splendid tackle and a throw in coming up. Tomiyasu. Pau Torres. Moving into the advanced position. But timely defending when it mattered. Gabriel. It's with Takahiro Tomiyasu. Esri Konsa. So nearly at half-time, and the home side trailing, albeit not by much. Stuart, your thoughts up to this point? Well, it's been a fairly even first half so far, but they haven't shown enough creativity, particularly in midfield, where there's been too many negative passes. If they can get the ball into the front areas that little bit quicker, I think they'll get back into this. 
Moussa Diaby trying to influence the game from a deeper position. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. Kai Havertz. And that'll be Aston Villa's ball. Rodgers. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. McGinn. Well, there we have it. That's going to be all for the first half here in the Midlands. So back underway here into the second half. Who can he pick out? Bailey. Oh, maybe the equaliser. Surely. Oh, a challenge of the highest order. Martin Odegaard, counter-attacking chance. And Kai Havertz. Havertz! And it's gone in for Arsenal. Will they be stopped from this position? Well, let's take another look. And wow, how cleanly does he hit that? The keeper was never going to save it. What a good goal that is. Well, Unai Emery knows that his team just haven't been at it today. His reaction says it all. Just look at his face. And the ball is moving again. 2-0 is how it stands. Pau Torres. Here is Digne. Watkins. Bailey. Digne. Douglas Luiz. And he cuts in from the wing. It's still there for him. Oh, great defending. Bailey. Can he get one back? Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Bailey. Bailey. Crossing opportunity. Well, they keep working away, Can looking for an opening. Will he shoot? The fans hope so. Nicely cut out. Pau Torres. Here's Bailey. Bailey. And this would reduce the deficit. And it goes to alter the arithmetic and give them hope that they can turn this round. Well, here we can see it again. And no wonder the manager is furious. They just have to get tighter here, deal with the danger. Otherwise, that's the outcome. Not good enough defensively. Well, underway again, it's a narrow 2-1 lead as things stand. Martin Odegaard. That's the kind of shielding play you expect from him.
Now he must favour the cross. Real chance. Looked like a certain goal, but that's a great challenge. Well, can Villa force the equaliser here? Their fans certainly think so. They're playing much better now. Bailey, chance to equalise. Pivotal moment defensively. Esri Konsa. On to McGinn. Well, time is of some concern. Can they level matters? Oh, good defending to stop a decent-looking attack. Diaby. Well, the fans want to see a shot. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. And Kai Havertz. Rice. Well, it didn't happen for them in attack. Ollie Watkins. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra minutes. Will he play it in? This could level it. And all square now. And you have to ask the question, is the time for either side to win it? Well, as you can see, the defending is all over the place. That's far too easy for the attackers. The goalkeeper's got absolutely no chance there. Well, I think we can say Unai Emery's fairly happy they've got back on level terms here. That's a great reaction. That is that after 90 minutes. They are level and extra time is coming up.